Hello everyone, JSGC here and we're here for another Manchester City video, not a transfer update this time, but this time announcing a signing. Hurrah! A signing. Now I'm going to be announcing a signing of Atletico Madrid defensive midfielder and finally some cover for Fernandinho, something we've been crying out for for like two seasons now, of Rodrigo Hernandez, otherwise known as Rodri, that we've been talking about for probably a good month or so. Finally, a Manchester City player. So maybe I'm just going to give you a quick profile of what to expect from Rodri and why we've signed him and why we've spent so much money in bringing him to Manchester City. So, he's a player born in Spain, born in Madrid. He's 23 years old, so a good age for Manchester City. Should be getting several years out of him. Think of Sergio Busquets. If you keep that in, uh, image in your head, you'll get exactly where I'm coming from. He's a player that will cover the defensive midfield role. He loves passing. One of the best, if not the best, midfielder in Spain for passing. His passing stats are absolutely sensational and his stats speak for himself. That is why Manchester City have been chasing him and have spent loads of money. He's a wonderful footballer, a good passer of the ball. Not even good, he's absolutely excellent at it. He just oozes confidence and he's everything that you'd look for when trying to play that ticky-tacker Pep Guardiola style of football. And it, honestly, Pep Guardiola loves build-up play. Fernandinho, physical player, uh, good at reading the game, good judging of the game, very good physically, very good in the air. Whereas with Rodri, he offers something uh, a little bit different to what Fernandinho does. And so it's bringing in, once again, more options for Manchester City. He's a player that likes to keep the ball down. He's a player that isn't, uh, he's a good height, by the way, six foot three, but he isn't overly physical if you get where I'm coming from. I, I imagine he'll adapt over the next couple of seasons into how physical the Premier League will be. And I imagine we'll be able to round him into that excellent defensive midfielder where he's going to have to improve on his physicality and be able to challenge aerially and deal with things like second balls and physical tackling and some that Fernandinho is very good at in being able to judge play when to do what I hate the term but people like to use it of tactical fouling knowing when to break up play knowing that they're on the counter attack and just nipping it in the bud early on so Manchester City end up uh, you know getting a bit of respite gathering up and not getting hit on the counter-attack and that's something Rodri will have to learn but with something that he is better than Fernandinho at is build-up play and building it up from defence and into attack. Fernandinho is a good passer of the ball but he's getting older and I'd say Rodri is a better passer of the ball than him. He's absolutely excellent with the ball at his feet. Manchester City love build-up play. Man City love passing it around. How important is Fernandinho when the ball's getting played from Edison to Fernandinho being able to pivot, find the right option and always play in the right option because when you don't, you find yourself in a lot of bother. And the problem we've had with him being injured, we've not really had the physicality that Ilkay Gundogan's done well when coming into that position. He's a good passer of the ball too. But he's a little bit more attacking minded, he's a little bit more like a proper central midfielder, a player that you want in the middle, a player that can get forward, get into them positions, a deep line playmaker, whereas with Rodri, he's much more of a defensive unit. He'll build that play up, stick into his position, make it his own and just add something a little bit more to Manchester City's team. Think of Jorginho when we wanted him last year, just think of someone that's six foot three and a big lad. That's basically what Rodri is. And I'm excited about this transfer. I think it's... We always look for the transfers to take us to that next level. And there's players that we've signed, that we've helped with our squad rotation, that's helped with our covering of the team and being able to offer wonderful options all around the pitch with Manchester City. But being able to sign a player that improves the quality of a team that is absolutely excellent, a team that hits 100 points, a team that hits 98 points and ends up winning 14 games in a row at the end, under loads of pressure to fight off Liverpool how do you improve on that and somehow I think that this is the option and I think it's a wonderful signing so I'm excited to see him in a Manchester City shirt I'm excited to see him make his debut and see what he can offer and see what he can bring for the whole season not just in the Premier League of course we're going for all the glory we talk, talked about it last year the quadruple can it be done well you need good quality players players like Rodri and that's what we'll be offering Manchester City we did the domestic treble We've got our eyes on the prize, Champions League. Is it possible? Signing players like Rodri certainly make it just that little bit more possible. So I'm absolutely ecstatic with this transfer. So I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and press the bell and put your push notifications on because I'm going to keep you up to date with everything happening with Manchester City transfer news, daily transfer updates, keeping you up to date with everything that is happening. Of course, my YouTube busy. That's what that pop-up is there with things happening. So action-packed. 
the transfer window well into full swing. Busy July. Here I am. Go check out my social media link, by the way, popping up on screen and in description below. And I'll see you all again for the next video. So it's been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Welcome, Rodri. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>